Ron, Ron, welcome back. We're part four in our series in terms of how to dominate the weight room. I'm super excited to talk to you today about finding the perfect amount of sets and reps for you. And stay tuned for halfway through here. I'm gonna test you can actually do to see if you should be adding or even decreasing your sets. So stay tuned for that in just a few minutes. But uh, the first three parts we talked about all about, you know, set up the workout structure, what exercise to do. Now we're really getting to the thick of, you know, sets and reps and how to progress it and all that fun stuff that we can really dominate the weight room. Now for sets, we'll talk about sets first. I'll talk about reps after. I'm going to give you a little bit of context so you know where, mine, where my mind is at when I program things. Most of my coaching clients are men who are not true beginners. It's not like day one but they're not advanced. They're kind of like later beginner or early intermediate for some of them. And you know, let's say they're a little confused in terms of what to do at the gym or even at home workouts and just trying to lose those 10 to 30 pounds and gain a little more muscle. That's kind of my niche and I'll explain why I said that. Um, it's important to note for sets because sets can be very dependent on, especially your experience and where you're at. So go back to the last part. I talked about workout structure if you haven't watched that yet. But I'll give you an example in terms of how many sets to do in a workout here, and I'll tell you how to progress it. So let's say it's Monday and we're doing upper body. Typically speaking, I do about 18 sets for upper body day one. And again, if someone's a true beginner, which is a rarity for people from my program, we'll decrease it a little bit. If they're more advanced, we can increase it a little bit. But typically speaking, 18 sets. And for, I'll give you just a super quick example here. So let's say it's chest press, three sets. Uh, pull, uh, lat pull downs, three sets. Incline press, three sets. Warm rows, three sets. Then we might do some sort of lateral raise for two sets, some sort of tricep for two sets, two sets of biceps. That's 18 for an upper body workout. That'd be an example of like a week one, day one. And again, the reason why I give the context for my niche, if you're a true beginner, maybe just decrease that a little bit. Maybe take a set off the chest press and the row. So maybe do like 16 total sets or maybe 14 total. If you're a little more advanced, you can add a set or two. However, more is not always better. And I'm going to really break that down in just a few minutes. So stay tuned for that. So that'd be the first, the very first thing in terms of week one, but obviously you got to progress it, right? You're doing the same amount of sets, the same amount of weight, same amount of reps. You're not going to get results and you're not going to progress. So let's just say 18s are average number of sets we do for week one. It could be a little bit less, a little bit more um, depending, but let's say 18 is on average. Generally speaking, week two, I keep it the same for sets where we just increase the weight a little bit. And again, hang tight for that. I can discuss that and break it down for the rep section. But week two is typically the same in terms of the sets. And then weeks three and four in the course of the month, this is where we start to increase the sets a little bit because we want to get a little more volume to the movements. So, or actually to the workouts. So let's say maybe, for example, it's 18 sets uh, on average per workout for weeks one and two. Maybe for weeks three and four, we're starting to get to 19, 20, maybe 21. And for some of you, you might be like only 21 sets for your workout. That's like the highest you do. I'm not a huge volume guy. I'm more of a quality over quantity guy. So I don't know about you. I'd rather work hard in the gym for 45 minutes opposed to just kind of like half assing it for an hour and a half and doing 24 or 30 sets. And if, if you do that, that's like, it's fine. If you enjoy the gym and you just like the social scene and you just like do a couple sets here and there, that's cool. But you know, for a lot of us, I think we want to get in, get out, whether it's at home or the gym, 40 to 50 minutes. And um, this is why I like to kind of program more like 18 to 21 rep set ranges. And, um, or say not rep set ranges, set ranges. And I really don't go too much uh, more than that. Now you may be thinking, okay, is more always better? The answer is no. So it's volume, basically volume, you can kind of think of volume as like timing, or so times your weight, the total weight you do by the reps. So see that like 120 pounds on chest press you, uh, for 12 reps, you times 120 by 12, and you would just accumulate that, you know, for how many sets and weight you do for the workout and reps, of course. That's kind of volume in a nutshell. So volume has a U shape curve to it and more is not always better right if more is always better i think all of us be doing 200 sets in the gym because we want to be jacked and ripped up our minds but it doesn't work that way so obviously if we do like two sets in a workout let's say this is like the flat line right so maybe this is the flat line if we do two sets in a workout obviously we have a little stimulus but not much if we do more more you know let's say 8 10 12 14 16 18 we get a pretty good amount of stimulus. However, around the 18 to 20 set mark, 
is gonna really depend on factors to see if you should add more or decrease. And I'll explain and show you the test here in one second. But for some people, you can probably continue to go maybe 20, 21. For some people, even a little bit higher. And this is why for people on steroids, and I'm not knocking on steroids, of course, but that's just not what I'm gonna preach. If people are on steroids, you can continue to do more sets because you can recover from that volume. But for a lot of us, we can't recover from the sets that we're doing. So let's say I said, you know, 18 to 20, we're doing a given workout. If we just keep adding more, then we start actually going down that U-shaped curve. So if we can't recover from the work we're doing in the gym, then you're just gonna start hindering results. You're gonna be more tired, you're gonna lose strength, um, your stress hormone cortisol is going up. So that's why we gotta kind of find that sweet spot for sets. And like I said, more is not always better. And here's a simple test you can do to see if you're progressing. It's a simple grip strength test. Uh, I'll show you two ways you can do it. If you have like a grip strength um, uh, handheld, you basically just squeeze it to kind of see how much force you're generating. That's the simplest way. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. If you don't have access to it, like a lot of us don't, simple thing you can do, go dumbbells, almost like a farmer's carry or farmer's hold. Hold it for 20 to 30 seconds and then just see if you progress from that. So maybe one week you do it, the next week you do it. Let's say you did 30 seconds week three, but you did like 25 seconds week four. That's probably a good sign you're not recovered. But if you're doing like, you know, 30 seconds week three and you're doing uh, 30, 35 seconds week four, then that's a good sign. It means you're recovering, you're getting stronger, and you can probably even add in another set or two. So just feel, feel free to Google that with the grip strength test. There's a few ways you can kind of do that. But that would be good feedback to see if you're on the right track. But basically for sets, to kind of wrap this up here, you want to start on the little lower end and you want to ramp it up for four weeks. And then generally speaking, we decrease it back down and then build it back up. I'm going to explain that in part number five in terms of when to switch up movements. I'll really get into the nuts, of bolts and, uh, nuts and bolts of that. Um, that's a separate talk altogether. But that's how you want to structure these movements. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And it's almost like a ladder went up and down. That way gives your body a chance to recover from you know, the stress and work you're placing on it. Now let's talk about reps quickly. Reps, typically speaking, I like to start a little bit on the higher end and then work our way down to the lower end again as the weeks progress. So let's say week number one, I love doing like 12 reps. Like that's a, that's a good number in my opinion. It's not an insane number and it's not um, low, right? Because no one wants to do 20 reps. It kind of sucks, it's kind of boring and it burns as well, which never is fun. Uh, so 12 reps is a good sweet spot where it's not like annoyance, but it's a good number to do because you're getting comfortable with the movement. If I jumped into week one right away and I said do uh, six reps of chest press, for example, and let's say again, you're kind of in that um, late beginner, early intermediate stage, you're not gonna know what weight to do, right? Like you're probably a little bit lighter, let's be honest, and then you're gonna do more than six reps and you're, uh, you're not gonna get, get a good stimulus from it, or you're gonna stop at six reps and you're like, okay, that was pretty easy. So typically speaking, you wanna do about 12 reps, um, for week number one and then we just start to increase the weight as the weeks go on and we decrease the reps so let me give some examples here let's say chest press i did 60 pounds each side for it's a pretty good number um, for 12 reps next week maybe i want to do 65 for 10 reps week three maybe do 70 for eight reps week four maybe do 75 to 80 for six reps so you can so you kind of see how the the weight goes up and the reps go down. Now, if the reps don't go down, like that's, that's even better, of course. Like let's say you're doing like 60 pounds for 12 and you get like 65 for 12, you obviously continue to do that. And you can also just increase the weight a little bit more if you're kind of still hitting that rep count. But that's how I would really progress the reps. And I do think it is important to start at that higher number a little bit, but at the same time, not going too high. Because if you're going too high, 15, 20 rep sets, that's a lot of stress to the body. That's a lot of stress on your tendons. 12, I find is a good sweet spot where you're not overwhelming the body too much. You have a chance to kind of practice the technique. You're not putting too much pressure on the joints. Another reason why, why I just like doing those, um, those 12 reps opposed to like six right away, even for myself today, I was doing tricep extensions um, and I'm just kind of going heavy. I was doing maybe eight or so, but I wasn't really feeling a ton of my triceps. And I realized that I'm using my lats, the weight's probably a little too heavy and it's going to swing back and forth. So you can think, if you're kind of a little more on the beginner, slightly intermediate side, and you're really not sure what muscle you're supposed to feel when doing the movement, you're just going to go into the motion, your results aren't going to be 
as optimal. And then you decrease the weight, you start feeling the right muscles because you're a little more isolated. Then we start getting comfortable movement, we get good with the technique, then we can add strength on a good foundation. If you try to build strength on a crap foundation, that's where injuries happen and um, your body's just not be prepared for that. So that's sets and reps. I hope I covered um, basically all the questions that you potentially had about it. Um, like I said, part five, we're gonna kind of talk about when to switch up the movements and uh, really get the nuts and bolts of that. So it's gonna be a fun one. Stay tuned for part number five. But um, yeah, any questions at all, again, miss, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions uh, you may have. That's all for now. We'll talk soon.